Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa. And today's video is definitely exciting for me because it is something that I've never done on this channel before. But I feel like it would actually be very useful for you guys because if you know me from my travels, you probably are familiar with the fact that I'm constantly traveling to Italy. My background is Italian. And of course, I really believe that you guys have an interest in Italy as well. And so I thought it would be appropriate if I taught you guys some Italian. Now, of course, it's going to be quite difficult to teach you an entire language, but I feel like the most important thing, especially when traveling, is just to know the very basics. So basic greetings and just a few basic words that can really help you get by when in another country, especially if this language is not something you're comfortable or familiar with. I know that anytime I'm traveling, I just really want to be able to say a few basic greetings and of course, please and thank you and some words like that. Without further ado, let's learn some basic Italian greetings and words. So I wrote down a little list of the things that I'm going to be teaching you guys today. So if you see me glancing at this, it's just so I don't lose track of the things that I'm going to be teaching you guys as well. But here we go. The first thing that is so important when just entering a country that you're not familiar with is just being able to basically say hi and bye. Hello or hi is of course ciao. Ciao is how you say hello or hi. Ciao. You can start off by saying ciao when you enter a restaurant. Ciao also, as you know, means bye in Italian. So it is actually a really good word to learn. Just a simple four letter word. Ciao means hi and it also is how you can say bye. Ciao. So now that we know basically how to say hello and goodbye, it is time to learn how to have a basic greeting in the sense of your good morning, good evening, good night. So good morning. Bon giorno. Bon is good. Giorno is morning or day. So bon giorno. Good morning. It is one word, but it is essentially two words put together to create bon giorno. Good morning. Next, good night. Bona notte. Good night is basically how you say good night in terms of have a good sleep, <laughs> good night. Never enter a store or a restaurant at night and say buona notte because buona notte, good night, is really how you're telling somebody, I'm going to bed, good night. Buona notte. It is again one word, but essentially two words put together. Buona, good notte, night. Buona notte. More commonly used if you enter a place during the evening time and you wanna tell someone good evening, so nice to see you. Some people might even tell you as you're entering a restaurant at nighttime, Buona sera, good evening. Buona sera. Again, it is one word, but it is sort of two words put into one. Buona sera. Buona is good, sera is evening. Buona sera. Italians don't really say this very often. It is not common, but I would just like to throw this in just in case you're curious. But basically how you say afternoon is pomeriggio. Pomeriggio afternoon so you can say bon pomeriggio good afternoon so that is just a little extra tidbit but i feel like you're okay if you basically know good morning and even good evening rather than good night because those are more useful once we have gotten the basic greetings down, the most basic greetings you can get, I have a few basic words in mind to teach you guys as well. These words will be super helpful and it is good to know these words if they're being spoken to you and of course to speak these words as well. Of course, it is always polite to know how to say thank you in another country. So it is really good to learn this. Of course, it comes in handy if someone is helping you out. It is really nice to say thank you in their language. So how you say thank you in Italian is grazie. Grazie, thank you. You can go a step further if you're really thankful and you can say grazie mille, thank you very much, thanks a million, grazie mille. But it is just important to say thank you, grazie. Grazie is very, very easy and it is used formally and informally, of course, when you're just thanking someone, grazie, thank you. Of course, if someone thanks you, how would you say you're welcome? In Italian, you would say one word, prego. Very simple, very easy to remember, grazie and prego. Thank you, you're welcome. Grazie, 
Prego. Thank you, you're welcome. If you would like to say please, if you need someone's help and you would like to kindly ask them, you would say please. Per favore. Two words. Per favore. Please. Can you help me? Per favore. Please in Italian is per favore. Please. Next, we are going to do yes and no. No is quite simple. No is literally no in Italian and it is even spelled the same way. No. How do you say yes? Si. Would you like some help? Si. You can even say yes, please. Si, per favore. But we're just going over the basic words. I'm not going to put them in a sentence for you guys at this stage because I want to teach you basic, basic words. So basically, yes is si. S-I. Very simple. Si, no. Si, no. Yes, no. An extra one, usually you would not necessarily say maybe when you're in another country and you just want to know the basics, it's usually yes or no. If you're not sure about something, you can say forse. Forse. It looks like it is spelled force and usually the way things are spelled in Italian is how you pronounce them. So in this case, you have to remember that Italian is a very whimsical, magical, musical language. So how you would say maybe is forse. So now that we know the very most basic greetings and we know a few basic, simple, introductory words in Italian, I'm also going to teach you just the common who, what, where, when, why, okay? So who, who in Italian is Chi, chi. It looks like chai almost, but it is pronounced chi. Who? Chi. Who is it? Chi è? <laughs> Very simple. Who? Chi. What? There's two ways of saying what. It depends on the context, but I will teach you both ways. What in Italian is che. It is also cosa. So you can say what? Che. Or you can say what? Cosa. Where? Dove. It looks like it is spelled dove, but you would pronounce it dove. Where? Dove. 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 When? Quando. Not to be confused with quanto, which is basically how much. When? Quando. With a D. Quando. When? Why? Perché. Why? Perché. With a little accent on the E. Perché. Why? Perché. So now you know who, what, where, when, why. You know the basic Italian words that can help you get by. Yes, no, please, thank you, you're welcome. And you also know basic greetings in Italian. I feel like this is as far as I want to go with the introductory to your basic greetings and basic words in this language. I think that it would be really helpful if I also maybe went over the pronunciation of some specific food dishes in Italian if you're not quite sure on how to pronounce them because I know that even certain pasta dishes or pizza toppings can be hard to pronounce or we can even focus on travel things like how to ask someone where something is, etc. So if you're interested in learning more Italian with me, please give this video a thumbs up so that I know you're interested and of course leave me a comment down below to let me know that you would like this to become a series where you learn Italian with me. If you would like to see how things are spelled, I will basically include the word and the translation in the description box. So please don't forget to check that out in the description box down below. But again, thank you guys so much for watching and it would make me really happy to know that you're interested in learning Italian with me. Bye, or should I say, arrivederci.